Hello guys, so I have my new idea today that I would like to share with you. So on my new book, I saw this picture online, this beautiful picture, this beautiful lady. And if you can see, so I just love the idea that she has all this string around the face, just very clear face. Of course, I don't have a very what clear face like her, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some paint on it on my face. So, so, so of course you don't want to copy somebody's work. So if you guys know who did this picture, let me know. I tried to find it online and I just cannot find it. And I would love to give credit. Um, excuse my voice. I'm feeling a little bit sick today. So, but I just want the idea of. I always love to draw my picture. I want to have my idea, my face. <laughs> I'm not very good at drawing, but I want to have these strings all over with a, I have a large needle hanging from my face. Okay, and I want the light kind of come from like 45 degrees. Yeah, not Celsius. <laughs> it's not temperature. So my idea is just very similar lighting. I want this picture to be very um, like the mood to be very soft. Very soft light. That's what I want. Of course, um, and I will try my best I just love the, this idea, and I want to try it with me with my with a self picture, self portrait, and see how it goes. So, uh, look, look, look. So for the light, is it's pretty simple. I use one light. Um, here, I did not want the blue or or or, or purple, or whatever the pink color. I just wanted something simple, just one color, and I I actually use my white wall. To bounce back the the light for the shadow, it's very simple, and I wanted something to be very bright and white. That's why I use a white background. And uh, you can find this online. You can download it online. It's very very useful because if you see any magazine or anything, most of the time they use the same light. Anyway, so if you practice this light, you'll be in a great place. So if you guys see, I see I took this little plastic and. I actually cut it to the size of a screen and I wanted to put these lines because these lines will help me. Um, it's kind of like the golden rules and stuff like that, but it's really helpful to put you know, the eyes in proper place and whatever you want in a very, very, like try to have a very better composition. It's really helpful and it's just easy. I actually bought this from the dollar store very cheap, very easy, and I just got it. Hello guys, so I am putting my makeup on, and I actually, I don't know anything about makeup, but um, I'm gonna see how to go, and the makeup uh, is pretty cheap, I got it, I actually got it from the dollar store, um, because it's gonna be edited anyway, and nobody, nobody is gonna ask what kind of makeup I use anyway. the makeup, I put some string on me, and I sure there was a needle in it, like there, but I have to be very careful with it. And so it's gonna be, when I go to the computer, it's gonna be, of course, it's gonna be cleaned up and edited. Yeah, see you guys. So this is the picture I'm working on. Um, so here it is. And I wanted something more and more artistic. If you see, I put a grid, it's right on the plastic that I put on the screen because it will help me put the face right where I want it perfectly. Uh, it really helps a lot. So there you go. It's pretty easy setup. Um, oh, my finger. So I'm using, the light is at 45 degrees from me. And it's a white umbrella with a modifier. So I want a really soft light. Something very simple. There you go. See, so simple. 
I, sorry, I keep putting my finger in the screen. Yeah. And there I am. There I am.